Hello everyone and welcome to another video of add-ons simulation series. Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to export directly from SOLIDWORKS to add-ons. So there are a couple of options to actually save a SOLIDWORKS file and then import it to add-ons. Uh, one of the basic things to do is to export as a parasolid. But the problem with parasolid is that it doesn't keep the information of all the joints which you have created, all the connections created in SOLIDWORKS. So I'll be teaching you a method to export the whole CAT file with all the joints which you have created in SOLIDWORKS. And yeah, let's jump right in. So as you can see, uh, I have a Stuart platform. So for those who don't know what's a Stuart platform, it is basically a parallel manipulator which is controlled by six actuators. So I've already defined the joints over here uh, I have six spherical joints on the top at this place and I've got universal joints at the bottom you can see over here so all the joints are defined uh, currently it's fixed so I'll just make this flexible yeah so I'll just suppress this distances so that I can show you that it can move up and down yeah let's just pull it up a bit yeah so as you can see it is able to move all the joint connections are there so we want to preserve these connections right so we don't want to go through all the hectic work of defining all the joints again in atoms so how do you do that uh, first of all you need to switch on this uh, SOLIDWORKS motion add-in and uh, I'll just start a new motion study yeah okay and this motion study window here in animation tab choose motion analysis once you have chosen motion analysis come to the motion manager tree so right click here you don't see an export atoms option okay so we need to activate that export atoms option so what we do is that we just create a dummy motor you know it, it need not serve any purpose so I'll just add a motor since the motion is linear so I'm going to add a linear actuator here uh, I'll just select a component direction and this one is related to let's see yeah, the red one the outer covering yeah, some random speed and just click ok so you can see that the motor has been added All right. great so once that is done you go back up to the initial assembly so this should select the whole assembly right click here still doesn't show so what you have to do is that you just play this one it doesn't matter if it's moving or not leave out the error messages just cross it go back there once again to the initial assembly right click and you have it voila export to atoms just click on export to atoms save it we got some place yeah, Stuart platform uh, just give it a name Stu oh, sorry Stuart platform yeah and click enter so that's how you do it pretty easy right okay in the next tutorial we'll see how to actually simulate this Stuart platform in Adams and we'll also see that all the joints have been preserved and you can just directly add the motions to them okay see you in the next video peace